Hi everyone, I'm Mary Burley, Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum, and I'm here today with my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Deputy Director and Chief Curator. Hi everybody. <laughs> we're so happy to see you. And today we're talking about Pirate Dreaming of Home, which is this amazing painting that Norman Rockwell painted in 1924 when he was still a pretty young man. And this image invites us to think about, uh, the pirate actually invites us to think about the adventures that he's been on. We can tell from his dress that there's been some pretty serious action. And then there's some clues about things that he's dreaming of. We really are looking forward to looking at this image with you and, and hearing about what you think. Um, but Stephanie, what do you think about a notice? Well, this is a wonderful image for thinking about journeys of the imagination and where our imagination can take us. Um, I'm wondering, have you ever been in one place and suddenly your mind starts to wander? And uh, maybe it'll take you to something kind of exciting or maybe just uh, as far away as a distant planet. But uh, what's interesting about this picture is that this is a picture about imagining. Uh, imagining a place where you are not. So let's look a little closer. We see here a very adventurous sort of person who happens to be a pirate, uh, most likely on the open seas, perhaps for a very long time. And if we look carefully, we have some hints that even though his life may have been extremely exciting, it may have even been a little too exciting. What are some of the things you see when you look at this picture. He's wearing a bright red cloak, but what do you notice about that cloak? Look at the elbow and you'll see that it looks like he's had quite an experience as well as his clothing, which is looking a little worse for the wear. Let's take a look too at his wonderful boot. That is beautiful, very dramatic. But if you notice, there's only one. So what does that tell us about his experience? And if you bring your eyes across the composition to his right leg, you'll notice that he is actually wearing a peg leg. And perhaps uh, something happened while he was away at sea. One thing about this pirate is that the thing that he's dreaming about is right behind him. And it's in that circle that Mary mentioned a little bit earlier, which gives us a sense of what he's actually dreaming about. What do you see in that circle? That may be the pirate's home, or it may be a place that the pirate just imagines. Because sometimes, after a long adventure, where there might have been challenges and difficulties, uh, we just dream of someplace comfortable and safe, and perhaps that's this pirate's dream as well. Uh, Mary, there are some really fun facts about this picture. I wonder if you'd like to share what they are. I would love to share some facts. Um, one is that Rockwell loved classic stories. His father read them out loud to him while he was young and drawing while he was read to. And we um, believe that one of the stories that was read to him was um, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. As the story goes, upon finding a map in his parents' inn, um, Jim Hawkins joins a crew en route to the Caribbean to find buried treasure. And one of the crew, the charming and devious Long John Silver, is determined to take the treasure for himself. And um, the illustrators Howard Pyle and N.C. Wyatt created artwork for that book. We wonder if this pirate uh, is actually part of Rockwell's imagination from, from reading those stories. I, in particular, love the very fashionable boot that the pirate is wearing, and the fact that there's only one of them leads us to then think about what is this peg leg, and what are the adventures that led the pirate to um, needing a peg leg. The other thing that I think about is, and I think you, you talked about the composition Stephanie, but there's two things that become fun facts. One is uh, Rockwell loved to use red to bring people's attention to 
um, parts of a story. He would often surround the key details uh, in a painting with red to draw the eye in. And in this case, he very unusually signed his name in red. And so we wonder, was um, Rockwell imagining being a pirate signing his name in blood? Well, maybe he was. So that's, that's kind of fun. The other thing that's interesting is many of the Saturday Evening Post covers of this time included a circle as an element. This was an invitation that the editors made to illustrators. And in this case, I think Rockwell does an amazing job showing the pirate in the foreground and then his imagination um, within the circle um, in the background. So, so that's pretty fun. And I think that leads us to what we can do. And the main thing that we're thinking about today is maybe, maybe imagine the pirate in you and what are the adventures that could be just exciting and maybe at times even too exciting that you want to take. And then when you imagine a cozy and safe place, what does that look like for you? Um, because very often life will have both excitement and cozy and safe. And we hope, we hope for each of you, you get each of those things in just the right amount of measure. We have one more idea for something that you might do at home. And that is, as you imagine this pirate with the beautiful fashionable boot and the fairly crude wooden peg leg, can you write a story about how this pirate lost his leg? Does it involve other pirates? Was it a crocodile? Was it something else? And what do you think? So we'd love to hear. Talk to you soon.